Introducing Linux Air Combat. Linux Air Combat is a new, free, open source combat flight simulator for the Linux community. This is an introduction to Linux Air Combat for beginners, based on version 7.92 from December of 2019, representing the culmination of more than four years of development work. This is now the world's leading free, open source combat flight simulator. Prior versions changed rapidly as features and aircraft were added. During the past few months, Linux Air Combat, or LAC, has completed its primary design and coding phase, and although aircraft artwork, sound effects, and a few other details are likely to continue making incremental improvements, all future versions are expected to remain true to the basic outlines in this introductory review. Although it has been possible to fly other free combat flight simulators on Linux, only a very few were written specifically for Linux with no need for emulation of Microsoft Windows. Among the high-performing few written specifically for Linux, LAC is unique because it runs nicely, even on modest PCs, and because the source code is very clean, well-organized, and is built entirely on a foundation of well-known, popular, universally supported open source components that are available on virtually every popular distribution of Linux. As a result, although many people won't ever need to compile it, LAC is so easy to compile that even people that have never compiled anything before are reporting success within an hour or two. And it can form the basis of study for youngsters that want to grow into a career as a computer programmer, developing high performance, graphically intense, network-centric, multi-user games. LAC is a product of the people that published the well-known AskMrWizard.com website, and comprehensive documentation about LAC is prominent there. LAC's primary web page includes sections on downloading, installing, configuring, and even compiling LAC for those that want to customize it. Because all of those subjects are so well covered on the website and within several comprehensive YouTube playlists, we won't be repeating them here, but from time to time we will make reference to one of those video clips to help you find the associated details. Hardware Requirements First, let's talk about compatibility. LAC's hardware demands are modest. Any PC built since about 2007 and powerful enough to run any modern version of Microsoft's Windows operating system ought to be able to run Linux Air Combat on any of the popular Linux desktop distributions. For example, it runs very, very well on 10-year-old Intel, Intel Core 2 Duo or later processors with a minimum of 1 GB of RAM. LAX graphics were deliberately kept simple, so it can be run without a gaming class video card. Users have reported excellent results even on old laptop computers, equipped only with basic low-cost Intel motherboard graphics. In those situations, you may want to configure LAX to operate in one of its low-resolution modes like 640x480 or 1024x768, etc., and at one of the three lower graphic detail levels from the five levels available. This just means that you won't see as many trees or reflections or shadows as those that have spent an extra $80 for their video card. On the other hand, if your PC is equipped with even a modest NVIDIA or ATI accelerated graphics card, you'll be able to crank the resolution and video quality up as high as your card's OpenGL drivers allow, and a lot more details will become visible. LAC users will also want to be able to hear LAC's sound effects they'll want to be able to speak to other LAC users across the internet. Any sound card that's compatible with Linux ought to work out just fine. Complete your LAC sound setup with a basic headset and microphone. This review shows LAC running on a 500 US dollar PC with a modest NVIDIA graphic card at the highest level of detail and at 1080p resolution, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels. Simulated flight controls. Linux Air Combat is intended for use with a joystick as your primary flight control tool, but it does work pretty well even if you don't have a joystick. In that case, you can just use your PC's mouse to simulate an airplane's joystick and joystick to control ailerons, elevators, and weapons. Here's a picture of the joystick and numeric keypad controls that are primary to LAX use. LAX controls are based on a standard PC keyboard, numeric keypad, 
and the popular low-cost Logitech Extreme 3D Pro joystick. It's very easy to adapt this to some other joystick or to fly it with just a keyboard and mouse. The standard layout of LAX controls is very well thought out and intuitive. All of the most commonly and most urgently used flight and view controls are sens sensibly located on the joystick and numeric keypad for the easiest, quickest, and most intuitive access. And joystick buttons are physically arranged in common sense pairs for natural use to raise and lower flaps, raise and lower nose trim, left and right swing of rudder trim, view zoom in and out, primary or secondary weapon activation, and speed slow or speed speed up. Even the physical position of those button pairs makes good sense. Where button pairs are located above and below one another, the higher of the two raises or increases the associated effect, while the lower of the two decreases it. Where button pairs are located beside one another, they either have an obvious left to right effect on the flight path, or the one on the right increases the associated effect while the one on the left diminishes it. The keyboard buttons of a standard PC keyboard and numeric keypad are also laid out in sensible groups. For example, lacks six zoom functions. Three pairs for view zoom in and out, map zoom in and out, and radar zoom in and out are all mapped to the same area, using the only square cluster of six buttons available on a standard keyboard. All three of the resulting button pairs use the upper button to zoom the associated function in and the lower button to zoom it out. LAX multi-channel voice radio system allows very powerful communication between online players. Its rich set of options are easily controlled by 23 keyboard buttons. On a standard setup, these are all physically located and sensibly located adjacent one another in a big group along the top of the keyboard. LAX remaining control functions are generally mapped to alphabetic keyboard keys where the first letter of the well-known aerodynamic function name is used to designate the appropriate key. For example, G is used to toggle landing gear, I is used to toggle identify friend or foe, R is used to toggle to activate or deactivate radar, B toggles brakes, etc. Whether you're using a joystick or a mouse, you can easily change all of these layout arrangements. You can reconfigure each of your available keyboard keys, buttons, and axis motions to control any of 45 powerful flight functions and 23 different voice communication functions, so you will be able to set up all of your controls to your liking. Okay, I'm at 25% oh. damage again. Oh, there's a red team there. There's a red team player here someplace. That's probably Adam's Hellcat. I see. Oh yeah, he's dangerous. Alright, I got it. 